In this lesson, we will finally build our model and make the prediction. To build our model, we will use the same scikit-learn library, but another submodule from that. So let's add another cell in Jupyter Notebook and do from sklearn linear model import linear regression. That's the method, the object, and then we can actually create our model. Model equals linear regression like this. That model will be an object which we will use for predictions. It's sometimes called regressor in case of regressions. And if we execute that, nothing will actually happen visually because we haven't trained the model yet. So this is our next step. We have split the data into training and testing. But now if we do model fit, which will actually fit the training data. So X train and Y train, this is exactly the training of the model. We execute that. Again, nothing visual happens. We have our linear regression object. But now, as our model is trained on that data, we can predict the result of the new data. So, probably one of the main goals of this course is to write model dot predict, and then you pass the array of years of experience. So, what would be the salary in case of seven years, then five years, then 3.5 years, and so on. Keep in mind that we have the array of arrays. It just so happens that each array is one column. I told you that before in the earlier lessons. So if we run that, the result is the actual list of numbers. So this is the predicted salary for seven years of experience, for five years, and for 3.5 respectively. Keep in mind that seven and five years were present in our CSV with samples for those cases, seven and five years, and 3.5 is a totally new number which wasn't even present in the CSV. Those were only integer numbers, not floats, not decimals. So this is actually calculated. And now how accurate is the prediction? For that, we have X test and Y test, those 20%. So we write, y pred for prediction equals model predict predict from what values from x test and of course let's show y pred here we execute and these are the 20 values for the testing date so we have these numbers predicted by our model by our trained model and we can compare them with the actual results from the csv and this is how we calculate the accuracy of the model. How far are these numbers from the actual numbers from the CSV? And we will evaluate the accuracy from three angles. We will visualize that. We will see the difference in mathematical way and also use the accuracy function from Python to calculate the percentage of accuracy. So a new cell and what we can do is, for example, variable error equals Y prediction minus Y test. And now if we show that error, the result will be the array, the list of errors. So this one is $147 or euros or whatever is the currency of. Then this one is 118 of. This is, this one is minus 48 of the actual salary. Is it good or bad? This is actually pretty hard to tell. It's probably okay to have a salary within the range of $100 more or less. So it's not a huge number. But to understand those numbers better, let's visualize the linear regression line with the dots from the testing data. And library matplotlib will help us with that. So we have plt scatter, the same thing as we did before, but with x test y test and also on the same plt plt plot from x test but y pred prediction for example with another parameter of color equals yellow like this we execute that and we have this plot so these are the dots which are kind of in linear regression position again almost except for this one dot 
which is actually kind of the noise. Again, the data isn't ideal, so you will always have those, you can call them noise or outliers. So in some cases, you need to actually filter and pre-process the data, the original CSV, and we will talk about that in the future courses and lessons, how to pre-process the data. But generally, this line is kind of trying to be the closest possible line to all those dots, which is doing pretty much okay job, I would say, except for that one dot, all others are pretty close to linear regression equation. Finally, we will measure the accuracy in percentage and one of the metrics to evaluate that for linear regression is called R2 score, which is also from the same sklearn. So we have from sklearn metrics, we import, it is called R2 score like this. And then we can calculate R2 equals R2 score from two numbers or two lists, y test and y pred, which means how accurate is the model results, predicted results compared to the testing data. And let's show our two here. And the result is this 0 0.89 means 89%. It's from zero to one a float number. So the accuracy of our model is 89%, which is considered a very good number. In typical machine learning projects, the accuracy aimed for is around 90%, because with real life data, it's almost impossible, almost never is 100%. And more often than not, the models are achieving something like 60 or 70%. And one of the tasks that you may find with machine learning jobs on Upwork and elsewhere is we have the model with 70 or 80% accuracy. And your goal is to improve that to get to 90 or more. But of course, every situation is different. It depends on the task. What are you trying to predict? And how okay is the client with some inaccuracy or not precise number. So this is where we end our short course on example of a simple linear regression with Python. The goal was to introduce you to how machine learning works in general, based on this very simple example. Now you should understand what is Jupyter Notebook, how to write ML scripts in that, popular libraries to use in machine learning like Pandas, like Matplotlib, and sklearn for linear regression. You also now understand how to split the data to training and testing, how to fit train the model, and how to predict the data and measure the accuracy. This is, as I said, it's one just one example of linear regression, which is a small beginner-friendly algorithm and model, as I said, more like an example. But with this fundamental knowledge, now you are more ready towards more real life examples and tasks for the future courses and video. So see you guys in those other video.